welcome family, friends, players, coaches, and other spectators to tonight girls volleyball match against Burlington Township. Tonight we would like to honor each of our five senior athletes, three senior managers. I speak for our entire coaching staff in saying that it has been a pleasure to watch them grow as volleyball players and young adults during their time here at Northern Burlington. I want to thank each of them for all their hard work and dedication to our program, and I look forward to seeing all that we're able to accomplish together during the rest of our season. As I introduce these students, I ask that their family members join them on the court. Defensive Specialist Manya Patel, accompanied by her mom, Anu, dad, Bosker, and brother, Akil. Manya is the first time varsity letter winner for our program. Next year, she planned to go to college and major in psychology on the pre-med track. Manya had a phone to say about MV Volleyball. My favorite memory is playing at Northern was meeting one of my best friends, Soleil, through the sport and sitting on the front in the bus ride hearing Mariah Haley harass Coach Clark. <laughs> Defensive Specialist Soleil Foscu. Yeah. Accompanied by her parents, Mom Michelle, Dad Corey, and Brother Manny. Soleil is the first time varsity letter winner for our program. Next year, after graduation, she looks forward to slowing down from the hustle and bustle of military life, finally being able to settle down somewhere close to her family in the Virginia area. She planned on majoring in accounting and economics and possibly a minor in Spanish. Soleil had to fall to say about MB Volleyball. I'm extremely grateful for all the people I've met and played with over the last four years. They've helped me grow so much, not only as a player, but as a person. And truly feel that because of this team, I now have more confidence in myself. My favorite memory is probably when my teammate lifted me up and cheered me on after getting hit in the face during the Morrisound tournament. Of the best thing this program has brought me, my best friend and partner in crime, Manu. Defensive Specialist Haley Bastion. Yeah! Accompanied by her mom, Keely, dad, Rick, and brother, Kaysen. Haley is a first time varsity letter winner for our program. Next year, she plans to attend college and major in forensic psychology and minor in criminology. Her longtime goal is to either become a homicide detective or be an FBI agent. Haley said that her favorite memories of MB Volva includes making deep connection with the girls on the team and always annoying Coach Clark with Mariah. <laughs> One of my favorite memories was when I was sitting on the bus with Clark and Mariah and the two of us was just tormenting him. So he started to put on his sunglasses and quoted, I'm blocking out the haters. <laughs> Thank you, Haley. Opposite hitter, Olivia Frick. Yeah! Accompanied by her mom, Rachel, and brother, Alec and Jake. Olivia is a two-time varsity letter winner for our program. After graduation, she hoped to attend a four-year college and to study health science to major in King Sology and minor in nutri nutrition. Olivia had the phone to say about MB Volleyball. My favorite memories from playing volleyball in Northern was the laugh we shared in practice at my junior year where we all dressed up for Halloween as a theme practice. Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> Middle blocker and senior captain, Mariah Lopez. Accompanied by her parents, mom, Christian Lopez, dad, Dyke Lopez, Brother Julian and Brother Jalen. Mariah is a two-time varsity letter winner for our program. Next year, she plans to move to El Paso to attend a college there for nursing. Mariah said her favorite memory is MB Volleyball included when me and Haley were sitting in the car listening to music on blast early in the morning before a Morrison tournament. Also being captain and being able to connect with girls on the team. 
Thank you, Mark. Now give it up for our five seniors. On behalf of the Northern Burlington Girls Volleyball Program, coaches, players, managers, and family, I'd like to thank you all for your hard work, dedication, and desire to complete and play the game the right way during your time here, and we wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, guys. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to Northern Burlington County Regional High School. I'm Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by broadcasting alum, Mr. Tyler Kay. I'm looking forward to an exciting matchup here today, Jimbo. And we are here live, TK, as the Northern Burlington Lady Greyhounds volleyball team takes on Burlington Township. But it is senior night here at the farm. It's always a pleasure to do this with you, buddy. Wow, great play by Northern there. Absolutely, buddy, and we had the opportunity to honor five seniors before the game. So, shout out to Coach Clark and those five girls for their contributions to our program here. And should be a great matchup here. And that's out of bounds. Oh, what a nice play. So, Northern struggling a little bit this year, but they have a returning starter. Maddie Sazafran on the front line. So looking to bounce back from a uh, little bit of a, of a rough start here. A great play there, but that's going to go out of bounds. So it looked like an ace. But they've got a very talented team here with players like Maddie Sazafran, who I mentioned, Olivia Frick, Ashley Chester, and others. Lily Tamongo. And should be anybody's game here. Northern... Comes into this one, defeated Burlington Township earlier in the season. And this is a rubber match. Northern won that one in three sets. They fell in the first set, but rallied back to win games two and three in that one. And now currently up three to two. Oh, what a nice serve. Really see the velocity on that one. And it is senior night here, and there's a great turnout of friends, family, community members. It is Monday, September 23rd, 2024. And we've got a great matchup here and, and a great crowd, TK, on both sides. So certainly anybody's game. And Northern in the lead now, 4-3. to three. But as I was stating... Hounds have some high expectations, made it to the playoffs last year, and in Township is currently one of the division leaders, so I'm sure the Hounds would like nothing better than to get a big win here in front of our home crowd today, and looks like they're going to nice dig. Oh, big spike. And boom, goes the dynamite. Get a point on that one, but tough matchup here. It doesn't get much better than that. Absolutely, TK. And I want to take this opportunity now to thank our sponsor of Northern TV, uh, Canon, a uh, manufacturer of great electronic equipment. And this game is actually being filmed with Canon cameras. And so I want to thank them for their contribution. And this is going to be a very, very exciting game here. As I stated, it is senior night here, TK. And you yourself were an athlete here at Northern. So I'm sure you can appreciate the camaraderie and the output and the turnout of all the uh, friends, family, community members here on hand with us here at the farm today. Look at that crowd. 
you can tell, you know, they get pumped up for a big play like that. Absolutely, TK. And second game you and I have been doing here in about a week or so. We were on hand as the Northern Burlington football team took down Morristown and got a big win there. And hopefully our luck will uh, rub off here tonight as we can continue to get some big wins here with the Greyhounds in this matchup. Wow, great play by Northern there. Oh, what a nice play. Absolutely, TK. The point went to Township there, but nevertheless, was a great play there by the Greyhounds, and this is still anybody's game. And again, this is senior night, so I'm sure our girls are looking to put on uh, quite the show here for the friends, family, community members on hand, our students and staff. I had the uh, privilege of showing up here a little early for the JV game, and you know, just a great turnout. You know, there were decorations for all the uh, the seniors here tonight, and can't say enough about the the volleyball team here and uh, Coach Clark and the culture that's been built here at Northern. And you know, we're just we're looking for a great game, and we're looking for a big win here for our Lady Hounds. So Northern comes into this one, as I stated previously, struggling a little bit. Started off the season pretty competitive. Uh, they were two and two at one point. TK. They've struggled in their last five, but looking to bounce back in this one. And as I stated previously, what a big matchup against Burlington Township earlier in the year. Bump, set, spike, and there we go. So we'll see what the Hounds can do here. Some of the stat leaders on the team include players like Riley Berg, who's actually a freshman who leads the team with 129 assists. Oh, you love to see it. Also, Ashley Chester, as I mentioned, very talented junior team captain with 16 aces, leads the team in digs with 142. And we've got some really great talent on the front line with players like Gianna Floyd, Olivia Frick, who is one of the team leaders in kills, along with Sarah Smith, who's a junior, who actually leads the team. Uh, and Maddie Sazaflin, the junior, um, who has been limited, but is back today. Lee Tamango, as I stated previously, great player. Um, actually one of the team leaders in digs amongst the top five. And we've got really just great collection of talent here, in addition to players like Halle Bastion, Gianna Floyd, Soleil Fosk, Mariah Lopez, Beverly Maraca, Manya Patel, one of our seniors, Haley Pilak, Sarah Smith, Gabriella Stanker, and uh, that that's a just a great squad here. And 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 Coach Clark, as I stated previously, has this team really playing some competitive volleyball despite some injuries here early in the season. Uh, this looks like a team really that that can. Make some noise, you know, as, as the season advances here, TK, and hopefully can advance to the playoffs, maybe host a playoff game, maybe make some noise in the state tournament. So we'll see how that goes. Oh. Wow. Huh. How about that? Meanwhile, Township comes into this one. They're actually playing some really competitive volleyball here, TK. They're 6-3 they're and three on the season. They lost to Northern, as I stated, back on September 5th. They started their season 0-2, but then they rattled off uh, four straight wins. They fell to a tough Lawrenceville team and then have won two on the road and recently. And boom goes the dynamite. It's Collingswood and Cinnaminson. Uh, they fell to West Windsor just a couple days ago. Now they're here at the farm, but this is a very talented squad led by head coach Ron Capinero. And they're looking to make some, some noise here, and they've got a, a very talented squad here with players like uh, Milena Bricker, 
Trista Davis, very, very talented junior. Leads the team in digs. Players like Sophia Lewis, a sophomore. Leads the team in kills. In addition to Julia Tobias, Nia Hall, Layla Fairweather, as well as Sofia Maluski, a freshman, who's actually doing a great job. Wow, what a save. Contributing to the squad. Lots of athletic action here going on at Northern TK, but lots of exciting activities as well. Coming off a big Greyhound football game just a few days ago. Hounds fell in that one in a nail biter to Delran, but some of our other teams are in action today, and as those scores come in, we'll be more than happy to provide our viewers with those updates. Coming off a very, very exciting uh, back to school night here at the high school as well. Want to remind our viewers that we have our annual open house coming up. In just a few weeks, we're going to be kicking that off with our Spirit Week at the high school and the middle school. And then we're going to have our homecoming carnival. That's going to be on October 19th. We'd love for our friends, family, community members to come out and participate in that. We have our homecoming football game, TK. You've been certainly a part of that in your years here at the farm. That's going to be on Saturday the 19th. Kickoff's at 2 p.m. And then we have our homecoming dance. And so lots of awesome things going on here. And obviously here celebrating our girls. I was talking to Coach Clark, and he was very, very excited about having this senior night here at the farm. And love to see the support of our students and staff here on hand was on hand a little bit TK previously for our JV game and uh, just can't say enough about the, uh, the turnout here and, and on both sides Burlington Township is a neighboring school and anytime Northern plays Township it's always a, a tough matchup one of our local rivals and always a great experience for, for both teams and want to thank the turnout on the visitor side as well. I want to thank Township for their participation, obviously UTK as well as our athletic director, Dr. Dan Uzaki, does a great job keeping all of our teams uh, plugged in. And you can follow this action and all of Northern TV's exciting action on YouTube. You can check us out, Northern TV's page. We have uh, recent wins versus Pemberton and Morristown from our football team. We have all of our exciting athletics and academics from last year. This game certainly will be on there. You can follow us on uh, Twitter, or formerly known as Twitter, or X, at Northern underscore TV. And that's a great way to keep up with all of the exciting action going on here from our video department. And also a great way to keep up with all of our exciting clubs and activities here going on at Northern and you know we're about a month into the school year here TK and it's been really really exciting you yourself are an alumni here so I know you can see it now from both perspectives uh, as a former student uh, now as a teacher here always a pleasure to do this with you buddy and uh, we've got a great game here and so looking forward to for the Hounds to get a big win. We're looking forward to a great matchup and certainly we've got one. Obviously we're we're rooting for a good game. We're rooting for the Greyhounds and our Lady Hounds are doing a great job so far here. And TK, I know you were a uh, multi-sport athlete here. Didn't get a chance to play volleyball as there wasn't a uh, uh, opportunity for that, but what can you tell our viewers about that? Now, believe it or not, when I was a student here at Northern myself, there was no boys volleyball team. Um, it was added a couple years after I graduated. And it's just so great that uh, kids these days, you know, they have these opportunities. Because I tell you, I would have loved to be able to get out there, play a little volleyball back in my day. I don't know if I would have been the best. Um, 
Doesn't necessarily meet my skill set, but I definitely would have gave it a go. I can promise you that. When you look at this northern team, you just look at these players. They really do have so many of the skills that you look for in an elite volleyball player. You know, great stamina. Uh, they got strong legs for that high vertical leap. But a big thing that you see with them that you don't see with every team is really good pivoting skills. Um, they're quick. They're agile. They move very well on the court. And that, honestly, is a big difference maker when it comes to kind of a good volleyball team and an elite volleyball team. You just watch those greyhounds out there. You watch the way they communicate, talking to each other uh, during each point. It really makes a huge difference. The last thing in the world you want is two guys going for the same ball, um, having some type of miscommunication, some type of mix-up. When you can, you know, speak to each other, really let everyone know where they need to be. It does. It goes such a long way into finishing off great plays out there on the court. Totally agree with you there, buddy. And Northern is in the driver's seat here in this first set. Um, still far from over, but serving here. Great play there by Township. And great save there by Chester. That one's going to go out of bounds, and that board's going to go to Township. But these Lady Hounds, they're looking to get a big win here. And as I stated, they're certainly in the pole position here to get this one in this first set obviously for those who don't know volleyball is best two out of three sets and games go up to 25 and for those tuning in i'm mr james dowd i'm here with middle school history teacher mr tyler k we are here live at the farm it is monday september 23rd and it is senior night for our lady greyhounds for both teams Team captain Ashley Chester serving. Great shot there. The Falcons are down but not out. It is currently 21 to 16 here in the first set. And the Falcons are looking to rally. Northern a few points away from getting a big win and obviously TK as I stated previously we were rooting for a great game and and we've got one and we've got a great turnout friends family community members they've been doing a great job TK as you said communicating with each other playing well off each other and really just setting each other up for success so And that point is going to go to Township. So 22-17. And Burlington Township looking to surf here and hopefully get back into this one, tie this one up. Still anybody's game. As I stated, these two teams played a really contentious matchup earlier in the season, a couple weeks ago. That one went three sets with Northern losing the first set, actually, in uh, losing the first set, but then rallying to win the next two to take that one. And so now two points away from hopefully getting a big win. Nice serve there by the Greyhounds, but no quit here in Township, and they're playing a really good game, and I'm sure that was a great play there. Looked like that was Olivia Frick there on the front line, or Maddie Cezaphrin, but great play. Tough miss there by the Greyhounds, but you know what? Adversity's part of the game. You got to be able to fight through, get back up brush the dirt off and get back out there for the next point. Oh, what a nice serve. Really see the velocity on that one. They've been fighting for those balls all day. This one, far from over, but again, pleasure to do this with you, TK. It's been a long time. 
since we've done a couple games together. Uh, why don't you give our viewers some insight about your perspective now being back at the farm? Thanks, Jimbo. It's really great to be here. It's definitely an honor to be back at Northern Burlington, both as a teacher and now as coach. And I definitely have found that my experience as a player when I was here myself has been extremely beneficial to me as a coach. Totally agree with you there, buddy. And Northern is in the driver's seat here in this first set. Um, still far from over, but serving here. Great play there by Township. And great save there by Chester. That one's going to go out of bounds. And So, Helms up by two, 23-21 in this one. Quick timeout here. Uh, TK, what can you tell us about uh, this kind of perspective uh, from when you were an athlete here at Northern? Let me tell you, Jimbo, I had the opportunity to play a number of different sports while I was a student here at Northern, and I can honestly say there's nothing like high school athletics. The competition, coming together with your team, it truly is just a magical thing. Thanks, TK. And here we are now, one point away from Northern getting a big win here in this first set. And we'll see if the Hounds can pull this one off. But still anybody's game. Township serving and... Great dig. Northern wins. Hounds win. Hounds win. And welcome back, sports fans. We are here now back in the second set. Northern was victorious and a real nail-biter uh, in the first set, defeating Township by a couple of points. Um, and again, want to thank... Uh, history teacher and former broadcast student and alum and Mr. Tyler Kay for his contributions in the first set and we're going to pick back up here now in the second set and Northern's looking to get a big win here once again on senior night and for those tuning in it is September 23rd Monday and we are here live at the farm as the Northern Burlington Greyhounds take on the Burlington Township Falcons. And we had the opportunity to honor five seniors before the game for their contribution to our program here. And it's been a great matchup here so far. And I'll tell you what, Township's been playing some really competitive volleyball here. Uh, as I stated, they are actually one of the division leaders. Uh, but Northern is looking to get a big win here in front of our home crowd. And as I stated, when I when I came in here before the game to, to set up, we had a lot of decorations, a lot of posters, balloons, and banners up for our, our girls. It's great to see the community turn on here on both sides. And I want to take this opportunity actually to thank our camera operators mr jeff winzinger mr jane lopez miss cully bertain for their contributions to this production uh obviously mr tyler k for joining us uh, mr chris niedemeyer our other video production teacher for his uh his help dr dan Uzaki for his help and obviously everybody on the burlington township squad and uh Still, a lot of action left to play here in this one. And Northern currently down, but still lots of volleyball here to play here. Oh, tough miss there by the Greyhounds, but you know what? Adversity is part of the game. You got to be able to fight through, get back up. 
brush the dirt off and get back out there for the next point. And obviously, TK, as I stated, we are rooting for a good game. We certainly got one. We've gotten great play from the Hounds, but also some, some great play from, from Township with players like Melena Bricker, Layla Fairweather, Sophia Lewis, Bethany Michaels, Sophia Maluski, Julia Tobias, and Molly Tolomeo. So credit to the Falcons. They're hanging with the Hounds. Still anybody's game. As we look at the standings, TK, as I stated, Northern has been struggling of late, but had some injuries. Currently, they are 2-7. and seven. And Township is 6-4. and four. Township actually leads the division in overall wins. But they're behind in division wins. They're behind Sterling in division wins. Sterling is 5-1 and one within the division. And the Falcons are 4-2. and two. So still lots of season left to play. And I don't think the Hounds record is very indicative of how good of a team they are. Like I said, they have struggled a little bit but there's going to be no rest for either one of these teams tk tomorrow township takes on princeton day school that's going to be at burlington township as well as division leader sterling on the 26th and so lots of games left for them as i look at northern's schedule northern has some very exciting upcoming matchups TK as well. Uh, tomorrow they're going to be at RV, and anytime Northern plays RV, it's always a tough matchup. And then Northern has Pensauken home game on the 26th, followed by Cinnaminson on the 30th, and many, many more games after that. So lots of action in the season, lots of action left here in, in this one, TK. And as I stated previously, we're going to be getting some score updates from our other teams. So we'll keep our viewers uh, plugged into that. Oh, what a nice serve. Really see the velocity on that one. Senior Olivia Frick serving. One of the seniors honored in the beginning of the game. I actually have the privilege of having Olivia in class, TK. She's a honor student in the classroom and an athlete on the court. So good to see her having some success today. The team also honored Haley Bastion, one of our senior leaders, in addition to Mariah Lopez. Manya Patel was another senior honored. And just a great senior night for our team. And we've got actually some really exciting younger players too, like Lily Tamano, who's out there, one of our statistical leaders. She is actually second on the team in digs. And she's only behind our team captain, Ashley Chester, who's also a junior. In addition to players like Gianna Floyd, Beverly Maraca, Sarah Smith, Maddie Sazafrin, and we've got some young talent too. We've seen freshmen... Riley Berg contributing quite a bit tonight. And Berg is another stat leader. Actually leads the team in assists. And is only behind Ashley Chester in digs. So lots of excitement here in this one. And hopefully the Hounds can pull off this, this second set here, TK, and, and get a big win here at home on senior night. So Northern up 9-7. to seven. Still anybody's game, but... Hounds in the lead. They took the first set, as we stated. And we'll see what they can do here. Wow, great play by Northern there. Absolutely, TK. Couldn't agree with you more there. Great effort. Northern now in the lead by three. But Township is uh, a, a really good team, and they, they actually are one of the division leaders. Oh, what a nice play. Mm, great save attempt there by by the Falcons, but just you know three three uh, hits and it doesn't go over. So Northern's got it back and they're they're serving now. I'm sure Coach Clark likes the effort here with our girls in the second set. 
And if Northern wins this one, then they'll get a big senior night victory. But great spike attempt. Oh, great big spike. play. And that point's going to go to the Falcons. doesn't get much better than that look at that crowd you can tell you know they get pumped up for a big play like that nice play by the defenders Nice dig. And boom, goes the dynamite. This game's starting to eat away from the Greyhounds here, Jimbo. And that ball is going to go to Northern Burlington. That was definitely a team effort there. You can tell they're definitely a very well coached team. It's a tough one for the Greyhounds. I always tell my players down in the middle school, when you're fighting for those balls, you want to play the ball, not the man. Run in with a plan.
well, the Greyhounds are in a tough spot right now. They had used a lot of energy to fight back. Hopefully they can pull off that. Totally agree, TK. And again, for those tuning in, I am Mr. James Dowd, video production teacher here at Northern. I'm joined by Mr. Tyler Kay, former Northern student, athlete, and now middle school history teacher and middle school coach. And we are here live, senior night, as we are honoring the Northern Burlington girls volleyball team. And they are in the driver's seat now to possibly get a big win here against local rival, the Burlington Township Falcons. We promised our viewers an update here, TK, and we, we have one. Uh, the girls' tennis team was victorious versus Pemberton here at the farm. And that one just ended. Our girls won that one in five sets to zero. Our field hockey team got a big win here at the farm, defeating Cherry Hill East four to zero. And we got some great play by Sydney Roach, Jill Watson, and Bella Matik as Northern continues their awesome season, currently leading their division. We also got a big win versus Morristown Friends from our girls' soccer team. We defeated them 4-1 to one as well. And we got goals from Angelina Marino, Leah Zola, Lizzie Deeker, Ashley Javik. We also got assists from Angelina Marino and Caitlin Petrella. And we got some great goalkeeping by Emily Sarno picking up that win. And our, our girls are highly competitive this season. And... Finally, our boys' soccer team got a big win versus West Hampton Tech. And we got that win 3-1 to one with goals from Elijah Font. Actually, he had two goals, TK, two assists from Joe Stevens, and one by Mike Pukki and George Semp uh, had some great saves and, and won that game for, for the Hounds as they continue to play some really good soccer. So lots of excitement athletically, and as I stated previously, lots of academic activities going on here at Northern and certainly lots of action here left in this one. So Northern in the lead, 1917, lots of action left to play. Northern won the first set, as I previously stated, and looking to get a big win here on senior night and first team to 25 wins in the event of a tie the first team to have two points ahead of the other one wins just for our viewers who don't know but northern looks to get this big w here today tk and again always a pleasure to do this with you buddy and thanks jimbo it's really great to be here want to remind our viewers to check out Northern TV on YouTube as well as Twitter or X at Northern underscore TV and we've got a variety of different programs on there. In fact, TK, we're about to post our first episode of the uh, Northern News for the year hosted by our anchor, Ms. Paige Zizio, who does a great job keeping everybody up to date with all the exciting action at our district. We promised our viewers an update here, TK, and we, we have one. Uh, the girls' tennis team was victorious versus Pemberton here at the farm, and that one just ended. Our girls won that one in five sets to zero. Our field hockey team got a big win here at the farm, defeating Cherry Hill East four to zero, and we got some great play by Sydney Roach, Jill Watson, and Bella Matik as Northern continues their awesome season, currently leading their division. We also got a big win versus Morristown Friends from our girls' soccer team. We defeated 
them four to one as well. And we got goals from Angelina Marino, Leah Zola, Lizzie Deeker, Ashley Javik. We also got assists from Angelina Marino and Caitlin Petrella. And we got some great goalkeeping by Emily Sarno picking up that win. And our, our girls are highly competitive this season. And finally, our boys soccer team got a big win versus West Hampton Tech. And we got that win 3-1 to one with goals from Elijah Font. Actually, he had two goals, TK, two assists from Joe Stevens, and one by Mike Puki and George Semp uh, had some great saves and, and won that game for, for the Hounds as they continue to play some really good soccer. So lots of excitement athletically, and as I stated previously, lots of academic activities going on here at Northern and certainly lots of action here left in this one. Oh! Wow! Huh! How about that? So, on behalf of all of us here at Northern TV, I am Mr. James Dowd. On behalf of Mr. Tyler Kay, signing off.